Good afternoon guys, this is Ömer Karagüzel from School of Architecture Carnegie Mellon University and I'm, today I'm going to show to you how to develop HVAC systems within Design Builder and as you see we have a very simple building, rectangular, we have perimeter zones, core zones I call it VAV building and I'm going to show the HVAC system setup on this building but before we need to do the change the settings from here options model options and change to HVAC system modeling type to simple to detail not compact but not simple all the way to the detail so just slide it to the detail and select the second type of HVAC system creation detailed HVAC data this should be in place to be correct, say OK, and a new HVAC system section is created. If you click on it, a library option will be pop up, and then you see a library of HVAC system already within Design Builders uh, default database. There are Asia 90.1 Appendix G systems, all nine of them, and we have very different types of HVAC systems, as and including VAV reheat water cooled chiller and CAV with air cool chiller but we are not going to use it now just cancel and just cancel again and we have a blank page empty and we will start from scratch and we start by adding a zone group just on the right hand side click on the zone group just this rectangular container and a zone group is created now here on the left hand side click on it thermal zones must be added say yes and then we will see a list let's give it a name say perimeter zones and we have the zone list we can select from this zone list click on the east north and south and west zones these are now selected these are my perimeter zones in the zone group okay rename change and i have see a white rectangle nothing in it but in fact there is the elements inside if you go to the perimeter zones i see four different zones included in here click one of them click again and on the right hand side you will see different options terminal unit air distribution units select VAV reheat and now you see the icon drag and drop someplace it doesn't matter it will go to the right place and then we need that zone extract click on it and choose it and drag and drop on a place so we have a supply and return to these zones not one zone all the zones under perimeter zones group have this system okay now we have the main elements at the zone level terminal now add generic a loop right to the system and now click on it and it sticks a little bit just press escape and get rid of the second generation and now we have an element a loop it has demand side and supply side and all the equipments so put aside zoom a little bit and we see it is it's type is cav but we are trying to create a vav system so there's a little bit problem we need to collect correct it go to the a loop a2 click edit right click and you see this is fan type is constant volume change it to variable volume it's type 2 say okay it will be changed to the variable volume and then go to the a loop zoom a little bit and you see a loop vav the problem is solved so we can continue we can continue by connecting the ends go to the demand side on the a loop and from zone splitter we can connect to the vav reheat coil extract to the mixer so click connect components and a loop zone splitter click and drag and click again and uh, just connect it to the VAV reheat and from zone extract click 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 and go to the zone mixer and finish the connection so we have a loop now go to the HVAC system again you see something is missing in this A2 we have missing heating and cooling coil we need to add this go to the A loop A2 and then look at the top view and we see add heating coil not electric not gas it's hydronic system so it should, we should add heating coil water and just add it before the fan and place it and then we need to add the cooling coil add cooling coil water cooling coil should be added right next to the left uh, to the right of the uh, heating coil before the fan now i have heating and cooling coil the system looks complete and we can select the system entirely and we can move it and we can change the location or we can select it and then just duplicate it or clone it okay create a clone of the system so i select it and copy paste when i paste it the zone group now you will see it's kind of faded you see it's faded nothing is in there so something should be selected but i have the zone group on the right hand side see the zone group click on it and zones must be added yes I, okay i get it say yes 
and then you see the zone group this should be the core zone let's call it the core zone and you see the zone list i only have the core thermal zone is not selected it's waiting to be selected just click on it and now it's selected it is under the core zone group and of course the system serving to this core zone group now we have two hu systems and now we need to add some more systems and each one of them has their own elements within them now we need to add a water loop say add hot water plant loop because this is the heating system and we have a boiler so click on it and then now hv loop hot water loop and we have the boiler we have the demand side supply side system and you see the pump we have the set point manager the pump and the boiler everything is in its place except the connections go to the hw loop demand side and you see connect components and we have the splitter and the mixer from the splitter select and then just connect it to the, all the waiting reheat coils or the a2 heating coils mainly all the heating coils needed so just starting from the splitter by multiple clicking you can change the directionality of the piping at some point but you see the guys dashed, dashed lines if you follow the dashed lines you can perfectly align the connection and make sure everything is connected and now this is HW demand splitter. So it's splitting the all the hot water components, but supply part and the return part is the mixer. And starting from the mixer, we can connect the outlets of the or the return pipes of the reheat, right? Heating coils or the reheat coils should be connected. Again, I am doing the same thing for all the heating coils in all my system. The number may be more or less depending on your own system right so okay now the connections has been made and now zoom in this is demand mixer so please pay attention to what's coming out from mixer what's coming into the mixer or what's coming out of the splitter okay now the cooling system so click on add chilled water plant loop okay chilled water plant loop comes in here okay i can put in somewhere around at this point click again and you see chw loop this is cheap water loop and it has components demand side systems supply side systems underneath the supply side i need a chiller i have the set point manager i have the supply pump everything is in place again connections are missing say connect components and from splitter again to the cooling coils but i have only two cooling coils at the two hu units so it will be it should be easier and faster and then okay from splitter i did this already and then from the mixer i'm connecting the return right supply water the return water should be connected okay now it's been done hvc system but something is missing what is missing we need the condenser loop right we need the cooling tower these ends should be connected to something and they are waiting and we need the condenser loop to finalize the entire water cooled chiller system okay so i will say add condenser loop here is the condenser loop with all the components place it any place you would like to play to be placed condenser loop and the components we have the demand side system we have the supply side systems underneath the supply side system i have a set point manager i have this pump and i have the cooling tower the final elements okay go to the demand side click connect components and from demand splitter to the inlet of the chiller from mixer to the outlet of the chiller that's it so basically that's all you need to do and now the system is complete all the heating cooling systems are complete and connected this is the hvc topology don't forget it's not about the parameters i'm just trying to configure now the final thing is dhw loop hot water domestic hot water system you see in the system i have the hw loop i have demand side systems splitter and mixer basically similar thing and supply side system set point manager pump and water heater with the tank and i need the water outlets how to use the hot water right so add water outlet place it somewhere else that for ease of connection click again i can add more but i will just add one outer outlet and from demand splitter i will connect to the inlet from outlet i will connect to the demand 
mixer. So when I did all these steps, now everything should be in place. I can pro pro provide another water outlet, but and connect the their ends and continue to expand the system. But I'm not going to do that. You can do it. I will select it, right click, edit, and delete. Now HVAC system. Look at here. Everything is done. I have the domestic hot water loop. I have the chilled water loop. I have the condenser loop. I have the hot water loop and A loop one, A loop two. But I can click and rename the A loop. Let's say VAV perimeter, and then connect to the second one and call it uh, VAV core. Okay. So rename so that we don't mix them up in future for ease of interpretations. Okay, guys, now HVAC system is completed and connected. In the next tutorial, I will explain more about how to set up the HVAC system parameters. Okay.